Chemistry lecture number six, precision and accuracy and also percent error. Okay. Now when we measure things in chemistry, we want the, we want the measurements to be uh, precise and accurate. What do we mean by uh, precise? Well, precise means a series of measurements are uh, close in value. So for example, suppose I have a scale and I weigh something, there we go. If each time I put something on the scale, we should get about the same value every time we weigh it. So notice every time uh, I put this on the scale, I get something close to 121.2. Do it a couple more times. Okay, so each time we weigh it, we get something close to the same value. So a series of measurements are close in value. Now, let's have another example. Suppose I weigh myself uh, four times on a bathroom scale, and here are the measurements. The first time I step on the scale, I weigh 146.1 pounds. The second time, I weigh 146.2 pounds. Third time, 146 pounds. And the fourth time, 146.1 pounds. Now, these measurements seem to be pretty close together. And in fact, the greatest difference between two of the measurements is 0 0.2 uh, pounds of uh, difference. So, uh, I can say that these measurements are precise. All right. Each time we uh, take a measurement, we get something close to the same value. Now, suppose I weigh myself on a different bathroom scale. Let's say this is an older bathroom scale that's been used quite a bit. And the first time I step on this different scale, uh, I weigh 146.1 pounds, and then I jump off and jump on it again, and I weigh 164.8 pounds. And then I jump off, and then I jump on it again. And the third time, uh, the scale tells me I weigh 147.5 pounds. And then I jump off and jump back on again. And the fourth time, I weigh 178.6 pounds. Well, you can see that uh, there seems to be a great deal of variation in the measured weight each time I jump on the scale. In fact, the difference between uh, these two is about uh, 32.5 pounds of uh, difference. So uh, these data are uh, imprecise. And maybe these are imprecise because uh, the scale is broken, or maybe I'm not uh, measuring myself accurately. My technique is not good. Now, we don't want imprecise data. We should get the same value uh, when we measure something, no matter how many times we measure it. If we get different values, it means there's something wrong with our measuring device, or there's something wrong with our technique. All right, so that's uh, precision. Let's talk about uh, accuracy. Accurate means that a measurement is close to the actual value. Now, here's an example of how you'd want something to be accurate. Suppose you're going to measure your uh, body temperature. And this morning I took my uh, temperature and uh, my body temperature was, uh, oops, what's it doing that for? Let's try it again. Nope. Here we go. Hold on. And what was my, okay, well anyway, my temperature this morning was uh, 91, uh, 98.1 degrees, but this is a device you can use to uh, measure your temperature. Um, so I measure my temperature uh, four times. And let's say the first time I measure my temperature, I get 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit. And the second time I measure it, I get 98.5 degrees Fahrenheit. And the third time I measure it, I get 98.7 degrees Fahrenheit. And the fourth time I measure it, I get uh, 98.5 degrees Fahrenheit. Now these seem to be pretty close together. Um, 0 0.2 degrees Fahrenheit difference. So since we can see that each measurement is pretty close together, we can say that these data are precise. But suppose uh, I find out that uh, my thermometer is broken and I get a better thermometer, one issued by the Mayo Clinic or something, and I measure my actual temperature, and I find out that the actual temperature is 105 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh-oh. 
So using one type of thermometer, I get something, uh, get a series of precise results. But then when I use the better thermometer, the one that gives the true value, I get 105 degrees Celsius. So that's a change of, uh, triangle means change in, that's a change of 6.4 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. So I'd say there's a pretty big difference health-wise between 98.6 degrees and 105 degrees. This is normal healthy. This is really sick. Um, so since data are, or since the measurements are, not close to the uh, actual value. We say the data are not accurate. Data are not accurate. It might supposed to be is, don't know my verb forms. The data is not accurate. Okay. So, data is precise, but not accurate. Okay, we want our uh, measurements to be both accurate and precise. It doesn't do us any good if the measurements are precise, if they give us a series of measurements uh, very consistently wrong. All right, so we need uh, data to be accurate and precise. Try this question. You measure the air pressure in an automobile tire uh, four times with an air pressure gauge. So when you measure the air pressure in your tire, you can use different instruments like this. You, know, you put this over the uh, stem and then there's a little display right here. Here's another air pressure gauge. Um, you put this over the uh, stem and then the uh, needle moves and tell you, tells you how much air you got in your automobile tires. It's an important thing to do. If you have low air pressure, uh, you're getting bad gas mileage. I think it's probably dangerous if it's, uh, the air pressure is too low. Anyway, so we measure the air pressure in an automobile tire four times with an air pressure gauge. And the air pressures obtained are 36 PSI. PSI is pounds per square inch. And then the second time, uh, we get a measurement of 36 PSI. Third time, we get 36.1 PSI. And then the fourth time, we get 35 PSI. And let's say the actual air pressure is uh, 36 PSI. So what can we say about these data? Uh, so our choices are that the uh, data is uh, not accurate and not precise. Um, not precise, but accurate. Uh, not accurate, but precise. And uh, precise and accurate. So how would we characterize this data? Well, all the numbers seem close together, so they seem precise. And since uh, these numbers are close to the actual value, it's accurate. So our answer is uh, it's precise and accurate. All right. Uh, sometimes we want to know how far a measurement is uh, from the accurate true value. Um, we don't care whether the measurement is above or below the uh, true value. We're just interested in the amount of error. Percent error gives the deviation of a measurement from what should be the accepted true value. Percent error is the absolute value of the accepted value minus the measured value Absolute value, okay, divided by the accepted value and then this whole thing is going to be times, and I'm running out of room here, I apologize, I'm going to move this over just a smidge, times 100% okay, so that's percent error. Okay, so that's the formula for percent error. Okay, so let's try a problem. True mass of a bag of potatoes is 10.2 pounds. A scale in the grocery store measures the mass as, uh, <coughs> excuse me, 10.4 pounds. Find the percent error. So let's see. So the accepted value, the accepted True value of the mass is 
10.2 pounds. The measured value is 10.4 pounds. So suppose you're in a grocery store and you're buying potatoes and you throw the potatoes into the uh, scale to see how much you're uh, getting and it's telling you that you're getting 10.4 pounds when in actuality you're only getting uh, 10.2 pounds. So hmm, you're getting ripped off a little bit. All right, well, let's see uh, the percent error, how much error that we uh, have. Percent error is going to be equal to the absolute value of the accepted minus the measured divided by the accepted true value times 100%. All right, so let's plug the numbers in. Absolute value of 10.2 minus 10.4 divided by 10.2 times 100%. That's going to give me absolute value of negative 0.2 divided by 10.2 times 100%. So the absolute value of something that's negative is just going to be positive. So 0 0.2 divided by 10.2 times 100%. If we work that out, we'll get 1.96%. So our measurement's off by 1.96%. And we're going to be paying 1.96% more than what we should be uh, doing. And uh, if hundreds of customers use this scale, um, the grocery store could be stealing a lot of money because uh, all that adds up, especially if you buy a lot of uh, potatoes. So that's why it's important to uh, make sure that our instruments uh, measure things uh, accurately with a low percentage of error. All right, well, if you need a uh, transcript of this lecture, Go to www.richardlouis.com. This has been chemistry lecture number six on precision and accuracy and on percent error. Thank you for watching.